Cel care va sparge gheața este Wolfgang, Wolfgang Schenk, care este absolvent al Universității de Științe Aplicate din Osnabrück, profil administrarea afacerilor. Are un master cu focus pe producție, taxare și microeconomie. Din 1992 până în prezent este acționar în toate companiile grupului Osma, construiește și gestionează o afacere care crește permanent pe piața imobiliară. Din 2013 este implicat în activități academice cu specific antreprenorial. A fost onorat cu medalia pentru activități sociale de către președintele Germaniei. Îl invităm în scenă! Be Wolfgang Schneck. Ladies and gentlemen, maybe that I will tell something strange to you now, but let's try it at all. To be the active leading pirate in an enterprise is a big challenge, which is in regularly not done by daily practiced activities. Needed is much more a long-term orientation. Such an orientation must include the past as well as the future. This orientation must include uncertainties as well as discontinuities and must show out alternative futures and the possibilities of a choice. That is why in the th center of uh, the entrepreneurial uh, perspe uh, perspective acting is tending the foresight. Starting point of our thoughts are uh, the meanwhile in the economics established entrepreneurial functions. They are seen as uh, something like a nucleus about that what an entrepreneur should do. In the sense of uh, these functions, the entrepreneur is in principle only this person who is acting these functions. Here you can see uh, these uh, functions. In the enterprise are three big, big blocks uh, which point out an enterprise as a system of productive potentials. On the left side, we have system renewing, system use, and system safeguard. And inside, the innovation function, which brings out the new ideas of the entrepreneur. On the left side, the coordination function, in which is all done what does happen inside of the enterprise and the arbitrage function which will show every contact to clients, everything to get new uh, money and everything which is necessary uh, to make your uh, business volume. And of course we need in our time also a risk management in these functions. The entrepreneurial functions are acting with another, and so entrepreneurship can be signed as doing the entrepreneurial functions in abstraction from the person of the entrepreneur and without an information if the functions are well done or if they are bad done. But also, when the doctrine about the entrepreneurial functions stands meanwhile in the foreground there remains the question, who? Who is it who is doing these functions? And that can be, in principle, everybody. Every practice of the entrepreneurial functions needs a process of building a will to make decisions and assertiveness by human acting and giving orders to do this or to do that not. The person who is by his own will and force practicing the entrepreneurial functions is the leading person in the enterprise. But unfortunately, on this aspect of the function and the aspect of the um, persons standing beside, behind the functions are very often uh, mixed in the reality. And so individual entrepreneurial capabilities seem to play a role in the market process. It is necessary that humans as entrepreneurs are acting. One premise is knowledge to bear the decisions from which will come the following actions. Knowing means the total acknowledgement we have about all the things, all the dates and informations we need 
to act as entrepreneur to do the entrepreneurial functions. And so one important uh, requirement for entrepreneurial acting is to win acknowledgement for generating knowledge to make reflected decisions on the basis of this. The entrepreneur needs acknowledgement to create action targets as reason for doing entrepreneurial functions. By this process of acknowledgement, the person of the entrepreneur gets a much more important role than only standing behind this function. The danger of entrepreneurial action has a fundament in the fact that there is no homo economicus in the sense of the neoclassic economics. That means, in simple, that the entrepreneur never has complete information uh, for his decisions and what he should do and what he can do. And so, decision-making is essential described by two elements, by preference on the one side and restrictions on, on the other side. And with this, entrepreneurial decisions are adhered to a certain element of expecting the future. And as you know, expectations implicate both as well chances as risks. Expectations are connected with an imperative to act. Either one will know to do or one will know what to avoid. Having no complete information of an homo economicus, our findings must be incomplete. And with this, we can declare every human intentional behavior as a preference leaded individual behavior of adoption which bears dangers, insecurity, uncertainty, and risks. Awareness as engine of entrepreneurial action <coughs> can, by reason of incomplete information, include dangers. And that is why these terms we must speak about in short. Concerning decisions, we, spe we speak about insecurity if it is not or not completely know which and which of all possibilities will appear in the future. Concerning the next part, uh, the uncertainty, you know what can happen in the future, but you don't know which of uh, these uh, facts which will happen will be that one which can happen. And at least we have the risks, and with them we have a different situation because risks apply to a situation where the probability of the outcomes is known. The knowledge about a decision-relevant possibility brings into the game a completely new dimension of information. With risk, we don't have a complete insecurity, but a variance around an expectancy. The discussion about insecurity, uncertainty, and risk brings out that the entrepreneur to overcome these enemies has to get awareness which is constituted in the personality of the entrepreneur. Only by getting awareness, the entrepreneur can liberate himself from a situation in which knowledge is perceived as absent, incomplete, irrelevant, etc. The entrepreneur gets awareness in the sense of the hermeneutic, a method of an understanding view of life. Contexts are explained by retracing and understanding them. Cognitive retracing brings out knowledge which triggers decisions and with them action into the entrepreneurial uh, functions. The term cognition refers to all psychological processes involved in the acquisition, storage, use, and creation of knowledge. Knowledge is knowing. For getting awareness, the entrepreneur needs information from inside of his enterprise, but also from outside. Informations are the set into relationship to problems and questions, signs and dates-based starting point of entrepreneurial action. But knowing that the entrepreneur needs information <clears throat> for entrepreneurial acting, with well, this is nothing said about how 
the entrepreneur gets these informations. Of course, some of these informations he gets from inside, from planning, organization, controlling system, accounting, etc. But that is really not enough because this definition doesn't take care on uh, the um, uh, impressions which the entrepreneur gets perhaps by accident without any relevance in this moment, but perhaps with an enormous, in the moment of the appearance, not known relevance in the future. So it makes a sense that not only the surveillance is the ground from which the entrepreneur gets the needed informations, but the more broadened term of perception. Perception can be defined uh, as the notice of sensual facts in one's personal world, his environment and his corporal self. Perception is a biopsychosocial process by which the humans get information about the environment, but also from their own inopsycho-emotional world. So, perception is first of all necessary for the entrepreneur to act in his entrepreneurial functions. The entrepreneur connects his perceptions for and in doing his entrepreneurial functions and with this he is doing some foresight which is not based on knowledge but is an activity by which the entrepreneur knows what can happen. Combined with this, foresight is a movement from insecurity to uncertainty and risk. That means a movement into a more sure direction. And that can be named entrepreneurial foresight. So, entrepreneurial foresight is the individual on a person-fixed capability for perception and the capability to bring the results of this perception under limitations of bounded rationality along the way as action into the entrepreneurial functions. So, entrepreneurial foresight is one of the most important, if not the most important, cornerstones in the process of entrepreneurial action. But how entrepreneurial foresight comes into the world, that is another interdisciplinary speech, including genetics, psychologics, neurobiologics, sociologics, things about the self-concept and things about the early childhood of each person. And if you are interested, perhaps in the next year at the same place. Thank you very much.